the Emancipation Proclamation. On January 1, 1863, President Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation, as the country entered its third year of deadly civil war. The proclamation declared that all persons held as slaves within the rebellious states are, and henceforward shall be free. Despite its broad language, the Emancipation Proclamation had significant limitations. It only applied to states that had seceded from the U.S., leaving slavery in the loyal border states unaffected. It also specifically exempted areas of the Confederacy, the southern secessionist states, that had already been taken over by the North. Above all, the independence it guaranteed was contingent on Union US, military victory. Although the Emancipation Proclamation did not abolish slavery in the United States, it won the hearts and minds of millions of Americans and changed the course of the war. Every advance of federal forces after January 1, 1863, increased the realm of liberty. In addition, the proclamation proclaimed that black males would be accepted into the Union Army and Navy, allowing the released to become liberators. Almost 200,000 black soldiers and sailors fought for the Union and freedom by the end of the war. Slaves had fought for their own freedom since the beginning of the Civil War. The Emancipation Proclamation reaffirmed their belief that the Union's fight had to become a war for liberty. It gave the Union cause more moral heft and strengthened the Union militarily and politically. As a milestone along the road to slavery's final destruction, the Emancipation Proclamation has assumed a place among the great documents of human freedom. The original of the Emancipation Proclamation of January 1, 1863, is in the National Archives in Washington, D.C. The document was originally tied with sender red and blue ribbons and a wafered impression of the United States seal on the signature page, with the content filling five pages. Most of the ribbon remains, parts of the seal are still decipherable, but other parts have worn off. The document was bound with other proclamations in a large volume preserved for many years by the Department of State. It was reinforced with strips along the center folds and then mounted on a bigger sheet of strong paper when it was ready to be bound. The number of the proclamation, 95, is written in red ink on the upper right-hand corner of this big sheet, long after it was signed, by the Department of State. With other records, the volume containing the Emancipation Proclamation was transferred in 1936 from the Department of State to the National Archives of the United States.